The Indian under-20 men's national team, coached by Shanmugam Venkatesh, failed to qualify for the 2023 AFC Under-20 Asian Cup in Uzbekistan. India was grouped along with Australia, Iraq and Kuwait in Group H for their AFC Under-20 Asian Cup 2023 qualifiers campaign, which was held in Kuwait. Initially, it was supposed to be held in Iraq, but due to political reasons, it was later on announced that Kuwait will host the Games. Also, Australia, who had initially withdrawn from the tournament citing safety reasons, was reinstated when Iraq lost the hosting rights and it was given to Kuwait as its replacement. India began its campaign against Iraq on the 14th of October. India played well in the first half and came back into the game after Iraq scored early. India scored two quick goals, both from the counter-attack, thanks to Gurkirat Singh and Mahesan Singh that the Blue Tigers went into the tunnel at half-time with a 2-1 lead over their Iraqi counterparts. But Iraq came back into the second half and stormed into the game with a superb display of strength and maturity as they scored two quick goals, and one goal was turned into the own net by defender Bikash Yumnam and that helped Iraq win the game with a good goal difference. In the second game on 16th October, India was up against Australia, who was undoubtedly one of the strongest teams in the Asian football circuit. The Aussies were a threat to the Blue Tigers from the start of the game, and it wasn't long before Australian wonder kid Garan Kual scored a screamer to break the deadlock. After a couple of minutes, India conceded another goal. This time, it was due to an own goal by defender Bikash Yumnam. It was the second time the defender scored an own goal in the qualifiers campaign. In the second half, India started strongly and it was at around 65th minute mark that Gurkirat Singh scored and gave the lead to India. There was another big chance later on for India to equalize the game but they were unlucky and Australia scored two late goals to win the match by a 4-1 scoreline. It was at that time that India's hopes of going into the finals next year were over. In the final group stage game on the 18th of October, India was up against hosts Kuwait was all about pride as both of them had failed to qualify for the finals next year. India wanted to defeat Kuwait as it had already done when the under-17 sides of the two countries faced a couple of days back. So India was all out from the beginning of the game to score goals and win the game. They eventually got their first goal of the game in the 8th minute, when Tyson Singh went inside the penalty box dribbled past a couple of defenders and on the rebound shot the ball and it was blasted into the back of the net and the Kuwaiti goalkeeper had nothing to do about it. After conceding the goal, Kuwait was trying their best to get the equaliser and they also had all the wealth of possession in the entire game. But it wasn't easy for them to get the equaliser against a compact Indian side. But they did finally get the equaliser in the 72nd minute when India conceded a free kick in a dangerous position. Just outside the penalty box, the defender and captain of the Kuwait national team scored a wonderful free kick, which the Indian team goalkeeper misjudged and wasn't able to save, thus giving Kuwait a goal which turned around the match and made it competitive and exciting for the neutrals. But not for long, as a couple of minutes later, Tyson Singh was fouled from a similar range just outside the Kuwaiti penalty box and striker Gurkirat Singh had stepped in and went on to score a screamer from there. And India just had to hold the scoreline for around 15 to 20 minutes more. And that did happen as India won the game against Kuwait to end their AFC Asian Cup qualifiers on a positive note. Although India failed to qualify for the AFC Under-20 Asian Cup 2023 in Uzbekistan, there were plenty of promises shown by the team. And some of the players impressed quite a lot and they did show some glimpses of a bright future for Indian football. One of them we would like to mention is striker Gurkirat Singh who scored three goals in the three matches and he also scored eight goals in the staff under-20 championship. There were a couple of other notables from the squad as well. The main reasons why the team might have failed to qualify for the finals next year were that most of the key players such as Parthip Sundar Gogoi, Subho Paul and a couple of other key players who were part of the SAFF under-20 championship winning squad but they were not selected for the 2023 AFC Asian Cup qualifiers campaign due to the clubs not letting them to leave for the national team duty and also due to some other reasons. Secondly, the fact that India was grouped with the big guns of Asia, such as the likes of Iraq and Australia, made it very difficult for Team India to compete against them and have good finish in the group. 
Thank you for watching the video.